It's a good day to be outside. The sun is shining and it's just nice to breathe the fresh air. We really like when there is life on our property. There have always been quite a lot of birds here, whether in the yard or in the garden. And we'd like to make their lives even better. So that's why we are installing these new birdhouses before the spring starts and birds will be looking for places to build their new homes. We hope they will like it here on our land. We bought two birdhouses to support birds on our property because we have too much fruit so we need someone to help us with the harvest. <laughs> so this one with the big hole is suitable for small birds that prefer an open-fronted box such as robins, pied wagtails, spotted flycatchers, etc. So I'm sure you all know what those birds are. Mm -hmm. We totally do, mainly me. <laughs> <laughs> and this one with the small hole is suitable for small birds such as blue tits, marsh tits, coal tits and wrens. Of course. A lot of tits. <laughs> I just love animals, including birds, so I wanted to have more of them on our property and create a kind of a sanctuary for birds as well as other animals. This one looks more professional <laughs> because it's on a normal cherry tree and it looks so good there yeah. in between the branches. Uh -huh. But as you can see, there are no big trees like inside of the field, so we chose these ones at the edge of the property but this second one isn't the best location it looks a little bit out of place right yeah it was a bit hard to put it here because it wasn't even and everything but i think it doesn't look totally terrible so you made it work yeah so the birds should love it here yeah and when our trees within the property grow up, we will put more birdhouses there. Yes. And it's so warm. I love it today. Again, a spring day in January. <laughs> the sky is totally blue. There is no cloud anywhere. And we also bought this insect house, or insect hotel, is what we call it here, <laughs> a couple of months ago. But it was already after the season, so the hotel is still fully vacant, waiting for the guests. Yeah. And it's mainly for loner bees, that's what we call them in Czech. Not sure what they are called in English. So we'll see when they arrive, hopefully in the spring. And we also have this ladybug house. <laughs> we want to put it close to our fruit trees because ladybugs eat aphids and we were fighting with those last year so hopefully this will also help us you look so pretty <laughs> look at all the ladybugs they are already wanting to live there <laughs> it looks like a ladybug brothel yeah. <laughs> Moulin Rouge. so there are holes everywhere all around it because ladybugs like holes. Yes. Since Tommy is such an animal lover, we have more. <laughs> Look at these tasty balls. Yummy. But these ones are sadly not for us. Aww. They go here in this cage thingy. And they are for birds again. <laughs> so it's some fat with various seeds, various nuts and also berries and mineral thingies mm -hmm. and other things. Wow, our birds are gonna be so healthy. They are. So, let me take it and we are going to hang it here on our sour cherry tree. There is this one branch that's very suitable for this. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it looks, it's strong enough. They can fly. <laughs> okay. And we can watch them out of the window yeah. from here. So we'll see if something is happening here. I can't wait. Yeah, but it's so warm. I think it's not a problem for the birds now 
to find something to eat. We have to be patient and wait for some terrible cold weather mm -hmm. and then this will be a feast. Can't wait. <laughs> and we also have a small birdhouse here. It's very cute. <laughs> but there are no inhabitants yet. So we have to wait. Even though it's totally sunny, our yard is in the shade, the whole yard, in winter, because the sun is so low. So when we want to be in the sun, we have to go to the back. Pleasant. Tommy had to go inside to work, but I have some time to waste, so I thought I'm going to enjoy this. This lounger is broken. <laughs> there has to be a thingy underneath it because otherwise it would go down. But I don't want to throw it out because it's very cozy and very comfy. And yeah used to this one so I want it Tommy has been ordering various things from the internet and one of them is this and I have no idea what this is so <laughs> let's find out together guys what could it be any guesses it's quite heavy so Something heavy. <laughs> it's like Christmas all over again. It is. I was like, don't tell me, honey. <laughs> Let it be a surprise. So it's probably nothing groundbreaking, <laughs> but it's still more exciting when I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of furniture. Uh -huh. Some, I don't know, shelves. Correct. Yay! And where will it go? You'll In see. Here, into our living room? No. No? Storage room? No. Then I have no idea. <laughs> to the kitchen? No. Outside? No. <laughs> <laughs> we have no more rooms. Yes, we do. In the bathroom? No. Toilet? No. <laughs> it's the only room you haven't mentioned yet. Our bedroom. Oh, so the, the very, very last one, which we haven't mentioned yet. <laughs> In the small house? No. In this house? In this house? This living room? No. Kitchen? No. Bedroom? No. Bathroom? No. Technical room? Yes. Technical room? Yes. <laughs> Is there space there for something? Uh-huh. We'll have to make it. It will go instead of the table. Oh, okay. Now I know what you mean. <laughs> so, okay, so should we put it together here or how big should it be? Uh, it should uh, go through the door, yeah. So it will be more practical. Not, not more practical, but more... It will be more comfortable here, I think. Yeah, we have more space. Okay, we found the manual. Yes, but <laughs> there are just a few pictures. Uh, I hate picture manuals. It seems easy, but it was actually quite difficult to put all the pieces together. It was frustrating at first, because there were small imperfections in the construction, so none of the parts fit perfectly and we had to use force several times. Luckily, we slowly got the hang of it and we were starting to see some progress. 10 more minutes and it was coming together nicely. And the last piece of the puzzle. Let me... Okay. <laughs> Let's see how Peter finishes the shell quickly. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> now, Ooh. yay! 
Yay. Should I press it more? And now the easiest part to move it to another room. <laughs> Through several doors. Is it heavy? It, I'm not, not that heavy. And we are in our technical room. This is the table which I wanted to replace with the shelves. You can see it's a mess. <laughs> we need more space to store our tools and everything. And so I was thinking that we could remove this table, replace it with the shelves and keep the tools here, like DIY stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we could move the table, for example, to the former chicken coop mm -hmm. and uh, keep it for gardening stuff. So mm -hmm. it would be separated and it would be closer to the garden, so it would have yeah. to come here to the house for everything. Such a good idea, because the gardening tools are there on the ground, uh -huh. just like that. And so. some of them are here, so we would split it, you yeah. know, and keep this one just for, like, uh, hammers and uh, screwdrivers and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and move the gardening stuff outside. Yeah, I agree. Honey, you are amazing. Such a good idea. Let me sweep this mess first. There's a, a lot of mess. The floor in this room is very crooked, intentionally, because there is this drain in the middle, so the water would go in the middle. So we forgot about that, so we have these advanced techniques how to make it even. <laughs> and there. Amazing. Wow, you're so strong. I am. So, as you can see, it's not very organized here on the <laughs> ground. And this is a good idea, but <laughs> it looks like it won't fit. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect so, that. So it's less than 60 centimeters wide. Yeah. So, we will keep it here somewhere for now and then figure it out later. For now we put all the things back here and it's immediately full again. <laughs> but it still looks a little bit more organized even though it's not. But it's not one big mess and it'll be easier to find things. Yeah, Tommy will work his magic later and you'll see how organized this will get. Definitely. Sometime in the next years. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking with Peter again. Today we are going to cook something special, something that Tommy doesn't like very much, but he learned to live with the fact that we have it regularly. Right, honey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's beetroot with millets. Yay! Doesn't sound very great, but you'll see it's an interesting meal, but only for those who like beetroot. Otherwise, don't even attempt to prepare this. So, we have almost one kilogram of beetroot. We are going to peel the beetroots. And you have to count with the fact that you are going to be very pink everywhere after this. Not just you, but all the kitchenware and everything. And not just on the outside, but also inside. You will poop pink as well <laughs> and be pink after yeah. eating this meal. Yeah, so don't be scared the day after or two days after. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many advantages. It's disgusting, it takes a lot of time to prepare. Everything's pink. It's awesome. No, I really like the taste. Don't forget to have a new light in your kitchen. And definitely don't forget to have an assistant like I do. You mean slave? <laughs> <laughs>
No slave, you like doing this, right? <laughs> so your assistant is cutting the beetroots into small pieces. Cubes. Cubes. We are going to use a steamer. We are going to steam the beetroots. So you need water, of course, to create steam. You need 45 minutes of water. Uh -huh. This thingy. Then this. The bowl is cracked. Because we've had it for many years. Yeah, for many years. But we don't throw anything out. It's still working, so why not use it? And the lid. And it's working. It's steaming. And while the beads are steaming, Tommy continues to be a great assistant. Yeah, because all Peter does is peel the beads. <laughs> no, I will come later and eat My. it. No, mm -hmm. no, you'll see. So what is this, honey? It smells about half a cup. Okay. And three times more water, so one and a half cup. And one teaspoon of salt. I cook it for eight minutes and then I let it rest under the lid. Basically until the beads are ready. Mm -hmm. And the never-ending work of the assistant continues. Now I have to cut feta cheese, which yeah. we add to the meal. Mm -hmm. On this bloody cutting board. Mm -hmm. So you cut the feta cheese into almost a powder. Almost nothingness. <laughs> nothingness. And we also need walnuts. If you don't have walnuts, you can use pecans, but they are twice as expensive here, so we don't use them. So you grind them. Our beetroots are steamed. And now, here are our cooked millets. And we just add the beets. And be very careful because the steam is still very hot. And it's like in between the beets. So as you are putting them in the pot, the steam gets released and it can burn you. It happens to me very often. Every time. But just zero degree burns. So that's okay. <laughs> And the steamer catches the sauce, or I don't know what it is. It's like the steam that turns back into water. Mm -hmm. So we will put that here as well. Because Peter likes his meals juicy. Exactly. One teaspoon of salt. Turmeric. A bit of pepper and a bit of powdered onion. This is balsamic vinegar. So maybe two tablespoons. And wine vinegar. I don't know why I combine it. You don't need everything, just some vinegar, because it's better when it's a bit sour. Let's add the feta cheese and walnuts. And now we just stir it together and it will be done. As you can see, it's quite juicy, just the way I like it. And this is it. It looks terrible. <laughs> As it's normal with all our meals, it's the taste that matters and this is quite tasty, but only if you like beetroots, otherwise don't do it. And look at my honeybee, all excited. <laughs> look how many pets we have here in <laughs> our toilet. There are so many spiders. It looks kind of scary, but they are not dangerous or anything, they just sit here or what are they doing? 
hang here or stand here. Plotting to kill us. No. They are totally harmless and it's impossible to get rid of them. So we don't try anymore. Or will we suck them? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Vacuum them. Because that's what we did last year, but... Twice. Like after a week or two weeks, they were back. Other ones, I don't know like where they come from. <laughs> so yeah, this is the reality of living in the countryside. So we call them toilet spiders, right? <laughs> And they are nice. You... You touched it. Yeah, it's absolutely okay to touch that. You can't touch me anymore. <laughs> Now let's go explore. There is another mission. We are in our attic and look up. This is a hornet's nest mm. and they should be dead now because it's winter. So we would like to get rid of it because it's not very convenient to have hornets here in our attic. No, and it's not. Look, honey, what the hell is this? I don't know. It looks quite scary. Where is it? I don't know. What am I filming? Let me get rid of more. It's gone, so it doesn't matter what it was. And now the hornet's nest. I will, wait, it will target me? No. Or which way will it go? It will go down. Okay. Right down. Okay. Oh my God, I'm falling. Okay, so I have this to reach there. Oh. Oh. Okay, so it's not... It's light? Yeah, it's very light. And it's not one piece. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's horneting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was a bit heavier, but I'm glad that they are dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we are almost done. Uh-huh. What are we going to do with this? We have to pick it up and throw it into the trash. Okay, so You can sweep the whole attic while you're at it. Mm -hmm. We never cleaned here since we bought it. And I don't think the previous owners were cleaning here either. You don't clean attics. Oh right. We just throw crap here. Mm -hmm. Much better. Okay, I think that's good enough, yeah, right? Yeah, I agree. Let's get out of here. Look how pretty it looks. I absolutely love the texture. <laughs> it looks like a drawing or something. Yeah. Art. Very pretty colors. Totally art. So hornets are artists. Before we go, we have to enter one more scary place. It's our dark cellar, where we store potatoes. We always take some of them to the city, of course, because we cook or bake fresh meals every day and our potatoes are very good. We are glad that the climate in the cellar is suitable for them and they don't go bad. We weren't sure at the beginning, but our neighbors that are familiar with the property advised us about the cellar and it paid off to listen to them. We also need a bit of rosemary. It grows very well in winter, doesn't seem to mind the cold at all. And that will be it. See you guys in another video. Bye!